This is a marketplace for AI agents. Here you can hire AI agents for a variety of different tasks. You can hire AI agents for content creation, for education, for marketing, for design, or maybe like life assistant agents. So there are all of these different categories. So you can hire AI agents for all of these different categories. Now this reminds me of Fiverr. Fiverr is actually a freelancing platform where you can hire freelancers from all over the world for different sort of tasks. And they usually charge a very high price for very basic tasks. But this website is not Fiverr, it's not Upwork, it's not just another AI chatbot. This is Mule Run, an AI agent's workplace where you don't talk to AI, you hire AI workers, designers, video editors, analysts, marketeers, e commerce specialists, all packaged as individual AI agents that you can run instantly. Just think of it like Amazon but for AI labor. So, in this video, I'll show you how Mule Run actually works, walk through a few real world demos, explain where it shines, and also share its current limitations so you can decide if it fits in your workflow. So let's just jump straight in. All right, so to start using Mule Run, just go to MuleRun.com or just click on the link in description and, and then you can just sign up and start using it for free. In the free plan, you'll get like 300 starter credits and also 50 trial credits which refresh every day. So once you're signed up, you can just go to this agent store, simply just click on that and here you can find a lot of different AI agents. And if you just go to this general category, here you can find there is this general browser operator. This is a general browser operator that you can run for 5 to 25 credits. So let me just click on this run button. And now you can see it is asking for a task. So I need to just like define a task. So I'm just going to give it this task, which is find top 10 startup ideas from Y Combinator website. And I'll just click on confirm. And now let's just see what it does. So right now you can see it will start this computer use. I am not touching my keyboard or my mouse so first of all it has just opened this y community website and now it has opened this company's directory the startup directory on y combinator and here it will analyze all of these different companies you can see there are these like top companies so it has automatically checked that box of like top companies and now it is analyzing all of these top companies one by one and then it will just create a list of like top 10 companies so yeah this browser agent is really, really helpful i could have easily like spent maybe 10 15 minutes on this task but here you can see it has already completed this task there is a list that it has just created the first one is the doordash company then there is airbnb then there is segment also it has created this conclusion.md file i can directly just open this file or maybe just like download it and here you can find all of these different companies that it has shortlisted from Y Combinator. It was super smooth. It executed this task very easily without any issue. It was a very smooth execution. So what I'll do, I'll simply click on terminate and just terminate this agent. Now I can just give it a rating. So it did a really good job and I will just give it a rating. So other users can actually see my ratings and then maybe use this and hire this AI agent. Now the next agent that I'm going to use is this AI photo restorer. So I can simply just click on that. It will cost me around 50 credits to run this AI agent. So I can simply just click on run and next I think it will ask for an input. Maybe I can share an image. So I'm just going to use this old distorted photo which has very bad resolution and it's really dis distorted. So let me just provide that to my AI agent. So I'm just going to add it to my AI agent. And now I can simply just click on this confirm button. And now let's just see what our AI agent will do. You can see it is different than a normal online tool where it will do that task in one step. Here you can see it is doing this task, completing this task in multiple steps. That's just amazing because this way, it will just like create a very high quality just have a look at this version this is just like a really high quality version of that photo so this is exact same person of course so you can see this is exact same person just have a look at this hairstyle so it basically just upscaled and enhanced and basically modernized that old distorted photo and recreated this eye as well and then like fixed the issues on this eye and overall like all of these like different issues that this entire photo had so that's that's just amazing by the way just to give you an idea i could have easily paid around hundred dollars for that simple task to this freelancer to do that exact same task you can see this is another freelancer who is charging around 90 dollars plus for this basic simple task so our AI agent did that in literally for few cents similarly you can try this background remover agent so on fiverr it will cost you maybe around 150 dollars 
for a simple background remove or maybe there are some who are actually offering this for ten dollars as well but that is still far more expensive than what we're actually paying to this AI agent on mule run now let's just try something different if you're a content creator there are a lot of different AI agents that you can try in here there are youtube thumbnail agents you can create high quality high ctr youtube thumbnails right here there is this auto short video creator as well you can instantly transform any text into cinematic short videos with voiceover using this AI agent there is this AI agent where you can convert simple text text prompts and images into detailed high quality 3d models as well there is another ai agent which is for sora 2 video watermark so if you have watched all of those different like sora 2 generated videos so there is always a watermark on and logo of sora 2 so you can easily just use this ai agent to remove those watermarks and then you can just like post those videos and it will not look ai generated i really want to try this youtube thumbnail ai agent so if i just click on that and then i just click on this run button and now let's just see what we can generate in here so here i need to just provide the description for thumbnail also i can upload my own photo as well to add on that thumbnail so let me just quickly provide my photo so i've just provided this description which is create a youtube thumbnail for a vlog which is day in life of a software engineer in london and i will just click on create and now let's just see if it can create a high quality thumbnail for us for this video okay so this looks cool you can see it has created really funky and really nice text and it is very consistent as well and also it has added this big pen as well on background just to make sure that this video is about london so that's amazing now let's just try this ai agent which is auto short video creator so i can simply just click on run and now i can just like provide an idea so i'm just going to give it this idea which is software engineering jobs in 2026 and create a video about software engineering job situation in 2026 let me just click on confirm and now let's just see what it will create it should ideally create a youtube short and that youtube short should have really realistic voiceover and also multiple images and some visuals so let's just see how it works so as you can see right now it is working step by step because this is an ai agent it is thinking first and after that you can see it created some prompts one prompt is to generate music then to generate background music as well and also to create voiceover as well and also to create images as well so it is acting like a proper ai agent which is thinking according to a certain pattern and then completing each task step by step okay there you go in just few minutes literally we have got this really high quality video with these subtitles really nice voiceover and also with this like transition between different scenes and all of these different visuals which is explaining our topic in really high detail and the total length of this video is 2 minutes 20 seconds you can post it as a long video or maybe as a short video on youtube but yeah it has done amazing job if you're curious so if you're curious about ai beyond chatting if you want tools that actually produce outputs so i think mule run is worth trying it's not just hype it's not a theory just ai labor on demand so just go ahead give it a try and let me know in comment section what you think about mule run if you have any further questions just leave your comments in the comment section and i see you next video bye bye